Good afternoon, Namaste to all dear students and learners. I, Dr. Mahesh Singh, Professor, Plant Pathology, Tirthankar Mahavir University, Muradabad, Uttar Pradesh. Welcome you all in NIUS studio program. Uh, under this program, today we will uh, study about the some major diseases of potato and their management. Dear learners, under this program, we will uh, study about the uh, uh, numbers of things like the uh, symptoms, etiology, uh, disease cycle, suitable management practices for uh, important diseases of potato uh, to better and assure it. This is your learning ob uh, objective for uh, today's session. Uh, under this, we will study in detail about the uh, these things like symptoms, etiology, disease cycle, as well as suitable management practices for the uh, numbers of major diseases which is uh, cause uh, yield loss in potato plants. And uh, now your learning outcomes uh, will be uh, at the end of the session you will be able to understand about the major diseases of uh, and their economic loss as well as their causal agent, symptoms, what will be the favorable condition to spread the pathogen, uh, what are the disease cycle uh, of uh, kinds of uh, diseases as well as suitable management practices. So, at the end of the lectures, you will be uh, definitely underst understand about the, these things. And uh, now about the uh, uh, potatoes, as you know, potato is a globally important crop uh, serving as a vital source of nutritional as well as income, so, uh, income for the numbers of uh, farmers uh, and global level. However, these potato crops uh, face significant threats from various diseases as well as insect pest also uh, such as uh, bacteria, fungal, viral, nematodes, etc. that can have uh, severe impact on uh, both yield reduction as well as the quality also. To ensure the sustainability of potato cultivation, it is essential to understand uh, and uh, effectively manage this disease. So that's why uh, in this discussion we will uh, explore uh, some Im major important diseases uh, and their uh, pathogens which is responsible to cause disease as well as the key management practices uh, for mitigation of the uh, their impact. Uh, now th this is the some important list of potato disease and their causal agent. Uh, dear learners, uh, as you know, uh, these, are, these are the major uh, diseases of potato, just like uh, late blight. Uh, late blight is in, uh, causal agent, is, it is responsible for uh, uh, by pathogen uh, that is Phytophthora infestans and uh, early blight, early blight Alternaria solenae, uh, scab that is common scab uh, that is uh, Streptomyces scabies and bacterial and soft rot uh, that is soft rot by, caused by the pectobacterium and uh, decaying species also and um, some nematode like uh, potato cyst nematode uh, uh, it is uh, responsible by the globodera uh, species and uh, uh, pow uh, powdery scabs uh, is responsible um, by the pathogen is spongiospora subterranea and uh, early drying uh, verticillium species and uh, silver scrub, uh, Helminthosporium solenae, potato virus Y, uh, responsible by the uh, virus uh, that is potato strain uh, pot virus Y, and ring, uh, uh, ring rot that is Clavivector michiganensis. So, th this is the some major important uh, diseases. Under this, we will uh, further uh, study one by one uh, so of uh, putting the some major diseases like uh, uh, late blight, first of all, uh, early blight. Uh, early blight uh, is a major uh, uh, disease you can say in uh, um, uh, so many uh, countries of the world uh, like uh, early blight is widespread you can say uh, it is a very imp important uh, disease of potato growing region of the world and it is a uh, particularly prevalent in that area where warm and humid climates are there but it can also occurs in um, uh, cooler region also and uh, this uh, this disease can be found in uh, north america europe ancient country and uh, and uh, to cause the severe yield loss and uh, uh, you can say economic importance uh, yield reduction uh, reduce quality in yield reduction you can say the reduce uh, the potato yield 
due to damage to leaves affecting and so that's why the photosynthesis rate of that plant can also reduce so that, that's why the overall uh, um, uh, the decaying of the plants and the tubers quality is also degraded by the affecting of this um, uh, diseases and uh, uh, you can say the market value of uh, uh, that um, affected uh, tubers will also lower and uh, increase the production cost also uh, increase the production cost due, due to applying of the costly fungicide to control the disease and other cultural practices that's why it, uh, the production cost is also increased and storage problem in infect if you store the uh, infected tubers in storage condition that can also uh, uh, get rot and uh, uh, leading to the post harvest losses also uh, 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 food security uh, uh, imp impact also uh, it's affect the availability of the staple foods crops impacting the uh, food security also now about the <coughs> symptoms in causal organism the causal organism that is a fungal pathogens uh, as you know al that is alternaria solenae uh, the symptoms you can see here in photographs the symptoms as clearly visible in the leaves as well as the tubers also uh, the symptoms uh, uh, of early blight in potato includes the circular dark brown lesions with the concentric ring on the lower leaves uh, allowing uh, of the surrounding area uh, and wilting also so that's why you can see in the photographs basically the concentric ring formation of the concentric ring in the leaves is uh, very clearly seen in uh, and uh, the photosynthesis rate is has been reduced and that area affected area and the in tubers you can see the affected uh, uh, tubers also as well as the in the severe cases uh, tuber uh, stems get also affected and decaying of, of the uh, tuber and uh, you can see here the some important uh, photographs of the um, uh, uh, early blight of the potato uh, in leaves you can see the severity of the le leaves as well as tuber get also affected by this uh, disease and uh, now about the disease cycle dear students uh, infected plants debris and uh, tubers can serve as a source of overwintering for the pathogens means last year's uh, patho pathogens can survive in the decaying and uh, overwintering by the uh, debris debris over over throughout the year uh, in form of soil the fungus alternaria solenae uh, in the form of soil as well as uh, when the favorable conditions uh, come comes out it, they can affect the th through roots as well as through um, uh, uh, spores the infection uh, the spores can lead on healthy potato plants and initiate the infection means primary infection uh, start uh, takes place through the infected uh, spo uh, spores the most common early uh, point uh, entry point uh, in that uh, uh, plants is uh, through wounds as well as some natural openings like uh, stomatal openings uh, uh, and uh, some leaf, uh, on the leaves also uh, this uh, disease uh, can also affect uh, uh, you can see here the disease cycles uh, the disease cycles uh, the overwintering uh, uh, starts the decaying of uh, plants as well as uh, they can uh, survive throughout the year after that the pathogens get affect the uh, get the affect primary infection on the host uh, so when suitable host come from found they, they can affect the plants as well as uh, uh, they can, uh, secondary infection get start within the crops uh, and uh, uh, after that after harvesting uh, the some volunteer uh, uh, tubers uh, get uh, remain is uh, remain in the soil and uh, get, they can also affect the pathogens now about the management dear learners managing of early blight in potatoes involves a, a combination of the cultural chemical as well as preventive measures to reduce the impact of the disease Hence, uh, here are some uh, key points given in, uh, for uh, the management of the diseases. First one is the cultural practices. Cultural practices is a very important uh, to avoid the um, uh, disease severity, to avoid the reaching of the disease severity in any kind of uh, crops. 
so that's why avoid the planting uh, uh, crop rotation is uh, avoid the planting potato in a same location or same field in continuous uh, year to reduce the build up of the pathogen in the soil so that's why you have to rotate the crop uh, in a regular basis uh, at least 2 to 3 years uh, uh, you can uh, rotate by uh, pulses you can rotate by some other uh, cereal crops so that's why the suitable host can't be found by the pathogens. That's why the uh, patho uh, the pathogens can't reach the se severe condition. And sanitation uh, practices remove and destroy the infected plant debris, uh, including volunteers uh, uh, tubers from uh, the field after the harvest to reduce the overwintering of the source of the fungus. Uh, dear uh, learners, as you know, the source of the primary uh, infection or inoculum is the basically tubers or the infected plant parts or plant debris remain uh, in the fields. That's why uh, the uh, throughout the year the pathogens can survive in the soil. So that's why you have to uh, uh, sanitize the overall field or you have to collect the uh, infected plant debris and they, you can destroy the uh, plant debris or you can pit, uh, dig up it uh, you can dump in that pit. Uh, so that's why sanitation practices is very important under cultural practices part uh, to avoid or to minimize the uh, uh, pathogen load. Now, uh, in continuation, spacing. Spacing is also very important uh, to uh, minimize the disease severity. Uh, for proper plant spacing allows to, uh, to better and uh, air circulation, reducing the humidity and uh, chances of the disease spread. Dear learners, uh, uh, to, uh, because of humidity and moisture is uh, very important for the uh, primary infection as well as secondary spread, so that's why you have to minimize the uh, uh, humidity and to reduce the sp uh, to spacing, means you have to maintain the proper spacing also. Pruning, uh, pruning is also important. Uh, you can prune out the lower leaves, is especially where uh, the infection gets start, uh, <coughs> to improve the air flow and reduce the disease uh, pressure also. Uh, uh, you can avoid the overhead irrigation because of overhead irrigation or drip irrigation uh, or furrow irrigation to keep the foliage dry uh, because moisture is very important uh, to is start the infection uh, over there. So that's why you have to avoid the overhead irrigation by a sprinkler or other means. Uh, now about um, uh, resistant variety, as you know there are so many resistant variety to uh, uh, by this cult cultivars so you can uh, regi uh, resistant or less uh, that, that is uh, less susceptible uh, to uh, early blight and resistant variety can significantly reduce the disease incidence. That's why you can uh, prefer the, uh, to grow the resistant variety uh, to avoid the um, disease severity. Uh, you can apply the fungicide also for uh, for follow so many recommended uh, uh, fungicides are there like uh, chlorothanolnil, mancozeb, uh, propiconazole, uh, etc. are available in uh, market and you can uh, apply uh, the proper dose as per requirement uh, for the management of disease. Now about the late blight of potato. Dear learners, late blight of potato is also very important um, disease in case of the uh, potato and it causes heavy loss in, in so many a area of the uh, world and uh, you can uh, see here the distribution of the late blight. Late blight of potato is caused by the pathogen, uh, you know it is also a fungal pathogen that is a phytophthora infestans and it is a plant disease with the global distribution means uh, where the uh, potato has been growing and uh, this disease has been also reported uh, throughout the world and it thrives the region uh, uh, with cool, wet uh, and uh, temperate uh, climate and it making uh, the more common in area where the uh, extended uh, periods of the cool as well as moist weather are there. Means, uh, mean, uh, you can see in Indian uh, condition uh, here is also very uh, favorable conditions for the spray, uh, spread of the disease and this disease is prevalent in northern Europe. 
north america and various other parts of the world and this is a very important disease in point of uh, uh, their um, economic importance uh, and the late blight of potato uh, disease has been a signi uh, significant economic impact due to the crop losses um, uh, reduction of yield and uh, it increases the production cost also quality issues reduce the market value and uh, at the severe infection uh, it may uh, causes more than 90% of the yield reduction so just uh, just you can imagine if the um, uh, growers can lose their 90% or sometime more than 90% yield reduction in severe condition so uh, that's why you can imagine the economic importance or uh, the value of loss of this disease only so that's why it is a very important disease to understand and uh, the ma managing the disease properly now about the causal organism, as I have told you, the, this is a fungal pathogen. Uh, the fungal pathogen that is a Phytophthora infestans. Um, it is a very important uh, fungus in the uh, plant pathological history also to cause the famine. And uh, the symptoms you can see here in photograph. The symptoms is uh, very clearly seen in the tubers as well as the um, leaves also. The symptoms of the late blight of potato includes uh, dark water soaked lesions on the leaves uh, and the uh, stems with the characteristics yellow hollow to uh, means the uh, the basic difference between the early blight and uh, late blight uh, uh, disease is uh, the in leaves in the, there uh, you can see the concentric ring uh, formation of the concentric ring in early blight but in case of the late blight you can see here in photographs so the uh, whole uh, leaves means the leaf uh, starting from the leaf is mar um, margin can the whole leaves get affected and the you can see the burning symptoms basically or uh, you can say the blight symptoms appears on the uh, <coughs> uh, the leaves and the stem get also completely damaged by this infections and the tuber symptoms include the dark lesions are, are the rotting sometime rotting of the potato uh, fleshes are also you can see in the uh, field or uh, storing condition also this disease is spread rapidly in cool wet and uh, and warm conditions and humid conditions and uh, it result the plant tubers destruction also means uh, the symptoms overall the symptoms are very damaging uh, to the leaves as well as the stems and uh, root also means the uh, apical portion means upper portion of the soil as well as the tubers roots also get affected by this uh, pathogens only so that's why you can uh, see the importance uh, of the this disease overall uh, you can see here in photographs the basic uh, means first uh, first photograph you can see the infection uh, in the stems stems get affected uh, uh, and in second photograph overall the plant get um, uh, damaged or blighted uh, and whole whole leaves get also affected by this uh, this disease to uh, at severe conditions the damaging of the whole uh, whole uh, aerial plants get affected by this uh, pathogens if the infection get uh, start in early stage that's why the uh, path, uh, overall whole uh, crop uh, will be damaged and uh, the uh, yield reduction is get very severe at that time now about the disease cycle dear learners the survival uh, of the pathogens of the late blight uh, over winters in the infected tubers means uh, if the uh, infected tubers get remain is, uh, in the uh, field as well as uh, in the form of tubers as well as in the form of crop debris roots as well as leaves get uh, in the mixed with the soil and and that can uh, preserve throughout the year the pathogen can also persist over uh, volunteer pl potato plants as uh, as you know if the some at the time of harvesting some potato remain in the field that's why uh, if that uh, tubers get infected infected that's why the next uh, coming seasons that can uh, uh, cause the source of the primary infection so dear learners this is a very important uh, to uh, observe or to um, uh, identify the survival of the pathogens and the primary infection sporangia are released into the air and uh, 
carried to healthy potato plants under the suitable conditions. Such a cool uh, and moist weather, sporangia, uh, uh, sporangia and uh, the potato foliage initiating in the infection process means the primary infection gets get started from the uh, uh, field uh, in the field by the means of the um, uh, spores uh, present in the uh, plant infected plant debris as well as the tubers uh, over there so uh, at, through air also through air current also the pathogens get uh, re, uh, established in the uh, leaves as well as they can uh, infect the source of the primary infection and uh, secondary infection secondary infections can occur uh, when the sporangia produced on the infected leaves uh, are carried by uh, by the wind or uh, rain or other uh, means uh, irrigation can also helps to um, spread the um, secondary in uh, infections uh, this can lead to the rapid spread of the disease within the field means secondary spread uh, within the field or within the uh, plants means one plant to another plant pathogens can move uh, by the means of the uh, water or rain splashes or, uh, or through the air current also uh, the secondary in infections can cause the severe in in infection in the uh, field so that's why the major uh, major uh, challenging to uh, the disease severe reaching the disease severity that is the secondary infection if the secondary in infection is not happen uh, rapidly that's why uh, the pathogens can't uh, cause the more uh, destruction and uh, the crop debris and volunteer plants are after the uh, growing season infected crop debris and volunteer potato plants can serve as a source of the pathogens uh, for the next season uh, continuing to the disease cycle means the, uh, if the pathogens uh, uh, remain instanted in the uh, field uh, by means of the uh, infected plant debris it can uh, serve as the uh, volunteer plants also now about the disease management Managing the late blight of potato disease is very important uh, uh, and to understand the uh, things and the combination of the cultural practices and preventive measures as well as the when the necessary and judicious use of the fungicide is also very important to uh, to manage the disease and uh, you can manage the uh, things like uh, uh, plant resistant variety there are the numbers of uh, uh, plant resistant uh, means potato resistant variety against the late blight has been also uh, identified and introduced and uh, grow some uh, you can grow the uh, resistant variety that can uh, resist or have some level of the tolerance uh, against the late blight disease and uh, resistant variety can significantly reduce the risk of infections means uh, uh, the resistant variety can uh, to reach the uh, the level of uh, high risk uh, crop rotation as you know crop rotation is also very important in case of the late blight of crop uh, with the non host crop uh, just like um, the non susceptible uh, susceptible to late blight and uh, to reduce the pathogens build up in the soil uh, you can rotate the crop about generally Three to four years uh, uh, by other uh, alternating crops or uh, cereal crops, as, or as you can uh, use the rotation by the pulses also. So that's why rotation, crop rotation, is also important to manage the or uh, to reduce the uh, disease severity, reaching the disease severity. Now, in continuation of the uh, uh, sanitation, field sanitation in earlier uh, diseases also, you know the sanitation is also very important to remove and destroy the volunteer plants, um, uh, potato. Uh, pl uh, as you know, that plant is grow from the mist tuber uh, that is known as volunteer plants and uh, the crop debris after the harvest. Uh, this uh, this helps to eliminate the uh, potential source of the pathogens spacing spacing of uh, you can say uh, the spacing is also very important uh, to manage the disease adequate between the rows to rows plant to plant remove to remove uh, you can uh, maintain the proper spacing uh, fungicide application you can uh, uh, 
uh, rotate uh, use the fungicide like uh, crop copper based fungicide and systemic uh, fungicide can be very effectively managed dear learners we will meet uh, very soon after a small break thank you सौंदर्य एक आकर्षक विषय होने के साथ साथ एक लोकप्रिय व्यवसाय भी है भारत में सौंदर्य उद्योग विकसित देशों की तुलना में दोगुनी तेजी से बढ़ रहा है इसी तेजी से प्रशिक्षित कुशल कर्मियों की मांग भी बढ़ रही है जो उच्च क्वालिटी की सौंदर्य सेवाएं प्रदान कर सके क्षेत्र में रोजगार के बढ़ते अवसरों को देखते हुए एन विभिन्न छह माही पाठ्यक्रम उपलब्ध कराता है इनमें ब्यूटी कल्चर एवं बालों की देखरेख सौंदर्य उपचार हाथों व पैरों की देखभाल बालों की देखभाल व स्टाइलिंग ये सभी एकल पाठ्यक्रम के अलावा व्यवसायिक स्ट्रीम में भी उपलब्ध है जिसमे शिक्षार्थी तीन सौंदर्य सम्बन्धित विषय एक शैक्षिक विषय और एक भाषा विषय उत्तीर्ण कर दसवीं का प्रमाण पत्र प्राप्त कर सकते हैं एन से ये कोर्स करने के बाद आप पार्लर में एक सौंदर्य सहायक के तौर पर कार्य कर सकते हैं नेल आर्ट जैसी विशेष सेवाओं के लिए आप अलग से सलोन भी स्थापित कर सकते हैं सहायक हेयर स्टाइलिस्ट या मेकअप आर्टिस्ट भी बन सकते हैं मोबाइल पार्लर के माध्यम ऐसी फोन पर अपॉइंटमेंट लेकर क्लाइंट के घर पर भी अपनी सेवाएं दे सकते हैं हमारे इन पाठ्यक्रमों से अनेक शिक्षार्थी लाभान्वित हो रहे हैं और व्यवसाय कर आर्थिक रूप से स्वतंत्र बन रहे हैं मैंने एन से ब्यूटी कल्चर का वोकेशनल कोर्स किया था मैंने अपना एक खुद का पार्लर चलाया है और मेरे दो छोटे छोटे बच्चे हैं मैं अब अपने अंदर कॉन्फिडेंस रखती हूँ की मैं उनके लिए भी कुछ कर सकती हूँ उन्हें अच्छी एजुकेशन दे सकती हूँ इन सभी पाठ्यक्रमों में प्रवेश लेने हेतु आप हमारी वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर लॉगिन करें सभी प्रवेश केवल ऑनलाइन ही किए जाते हैं और जो संस्थान एन की मान्यता प्राप्त कर इन पाठ्यक्रमों का संचालन करना चाहते हैं वे भी लॉगिन करें तुरंत एन की वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम में हमें एन के थ्रू ये सिखाया जाता है बताया जाता है कि आपको कौन सी प्रॉब्लम में पेशेंट को कैसे स्टेबलाइज करना है हेल्थ वर्कर का कोर्स करने के बाद में व्यक्ति इतना निपुण अवश्य हो जाता है कि किसी मरते हुए व्यक्ति की चाहे वो जलने से हो चाहे वो डूबने से हो चाहे वो करंट लगने से हो चाहे वो सड़क का एक्सीडेंट हो चाहे वो हार्ट अटैक हो चाहे दौरा पड़ने से हो उसकी जान बचा सके और जान बचाने के बाद में उसको प्राथमिक उपचार देने के उपरांत एमरजेंसी तक पहुँचा सके जहाँ पर कि डॉक्टर की देख में उसका आगे का इलाज संभव हो सके सामुदायिक स्वास्थ्य प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम एन का बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम है इस कार्यक्रम में आधारभूत जीव विज्ञान मातृत्व एवं बाल स्वास्थ्य देखभाल रोगों व आपातकालीन स्थितियों में निवारण एवं प्रबंधन ये तीन महत्वपूर्ण विषय हैं 
जिनके आधार पर एक स्वास्थ्य कार्यकर्ता बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से किसी भी इमरजेंसी को हैंडल करने में सक्षम होता है और किसी भी इमरजेंसी में वो फर्स्ट एड दे करके उसको डॉक्टर के पास रेफर कर सकता है आइए हम सब मिलकर के इस स्वास्थ्य कार्यक्रम को सफल बनाए जय हिंद जय भारत Dear learners, welcome back once again to you all. Uh, till now, we have uh, learned about the uh, early blight as well as late blight of potato. In early blight, we had studied about the uh, symptoms, their pathogens. Means the uh, pathogen is uh, responsible for early blight is uh, Alternaria solenae. and uh, the symptoms is basically the formation of the concentric ring over the leaves as well as the stem also get affected and tubers also get affected by the um, uh, pathogens that is uh, uh, alternaria solenae and uh, um, uh, you can manage by the uh, cultural practices some fungicidal use some biological uh, controls are there so you can manage through that practices in case of uh, Uh, late blight we had studied about the uh, pathogens like uh, uh, phytophthora infestans as well as the responsible for the uh, that disease and uh, symptoms is basically uh, the burning symptoms of the whole leaves and uh, the whole leaves get uh, blighted by that pathogens and uh, we had studied about the management practices for the late blight by cultural as well as chemical practices in previous uh, session so uh, till now uh, uh, we had studied and uh, now uh, we will study about the potato scab dear learners potato scab disease is also important uh, disease uh, in case of uh, uh, pathogens uh, and uh, the losses also and uh, potato scab also known as a common scab uh, in this uh, in a disease that affect the potato tubers potato scab is a uh, worldwide problem uh, and uh, you can uh, found when uh, wherever the potato are are grown means it has been reported uh, throughout the world where potato has been cultivated uh, it is a uh, prevalent in regions uh, with alkaline soil as well as in that area where uh, some varying soils are having the uh, more moisture in the soil the specific species of bacteria responsible for the potato scab that may vary by the region to region and uh, the uh, its uh, disease itself in wide spread uh, dear learners economic importance economically this disease is also very important to reduce the uh, to um, uh, it can reduce the market value of the crop means this disease you can see in photographs this disease is caused the uh, uh, very uh, ruptured in the basically tubers get affected by this disease so that's why you can imagine uh, the if the tubers uh, is get affected or ruptured or cracked or uh, distorted by this disease the market value of the crop is uh, very uh, drastically um, de defected and the uh, growers may face the lower price for that uh, produce and the is basically in scab infected uh, tubers you, if you are want to sell out this get the lower price uh, in severe cases where scab lesions are um, pen penetrate deeper into the flesh also so not only in the cell in severe conditions you can see in the first photograph the severe infection the some flesh of the uh, tubers get also affected that's why the loss of yield is also as well as the weight loss is also uh, caused by this disease so this is a very important and the point of economical value and the, uh, as the point of the form, uh, yield loss also Uh, now about the causal uh, organism and the symptoms 
Dear learners, the causal organism for, for this pathogen, uh, this disease is Streptomyces scabies. Uh, uh, this is the bacterial pathogen basically. The, the uh, symptoms you can see here then in photograph, the symptoms of the potato scab include the raised rough texture basically on the, um, uh, the uh, tuber skin and uh, this discolored lesions on the surface of the potato tubers. This blessed bless on can uh, can uh, uh, range in uh, uh, color as well as make affected the potato less visually of, uh, uh, appealing uh, the imaging and the market value also. So that's why uh, this is the uh, very common uh, symptoms on the tubers. You can easily identify these symptoms on the means rough and corky symptoms appears on the potato tubers. And uh, now about the disease cycle. The survival and spread of the pathogens. The, patho uh, the pathogenic bacteria can survive in the soil uh, for extended period, uh, often in the form of the spores or the mycelium. The, they can uh, persist over the absence of the host plant. The infection uh, when the susceptible path, uh, potato plants are, are grown in the infected soil, the pathogen can uh, easily infect the uh, tubers as well as the through roots also. Infection occurs uh, 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 through the wounds or some natural openings uh, uh, of the plants uh, uh, on the tubers uh, surface such as lenticels. So, uh, the infection, primary infection get start through the basically uh, natural openings or wounds and sometimes uh, some other in, um, biting of the insect uh, insect also. So, that is why uh, the, the pathogen get start the primary in, uh, infection in the inf uh, tubers. And uh, release of the secondary inoculum. As infected tubers are harvested and uh, uh, turned into the soil uh, for the planting, they can release the bacterial inoculum such as spores or mycelium you can say and the back, uh, back into the soil. This, uh, this contaminated soil becomes a, um, a source of the primary in inoculum or primary infection and uh, you can say the potential source for the infection for the subsequent potato crops. So, inf infection uh, is more likely to occur when the environmental conditions such as uh, soil moistures as well as the temperature and favorable uh, temperature and, uh, and moistures are there, the, the pathogens get easily infect the uh, crops. Now about the disease management, uh, disease management uh, you can use the certified seed for managing the disease. Uh, start with the disease free seed potato uh, for, uh, for uh, rep uh, reputed source. You can use the certified seed for the potato growing or rigorously in inspected and the tested to ensure the they are free from the scab or other diseases also. So that's why the disease-free selection of the disease-free is very important for the growing of the healthy crops of the potato. And uh, you can use the crop rotation, uh, impl implement a crop rotation strategy to reduce the buildup of the escape causing bacteria in the soil. To avoid the planting uh, potatoes in the same field or uh, continuously means every year in the same field is a very uh, uh, damaging to the uh, this uh, in point of view and uh, you have to uh, ensure the uh, rotation uh, at least two to three years by using non-host crops uh, like some you can use the some cereals crop or some pulse uh, some pulses uh, crops or some other crops uh, in instead of the uh, same uh, crops like potato in same field every year and uh, uh, irrigation management Manage the soil moisture uh, carefully, dear learners. Uh, constant moisture uh, leaves uh, on leaves can help to uh, prevent the wounds uh, on tubers. So that's why you, uh, which which are entry points uh, for the pathogens. So that's why the uh, over moisture or over irrigation is also uh, uh, 
critical are also um, uh, helpful for pathogen uh, infection. So, avoid the uh, excessive irrigation uh, uh, in the field. So, that is why you can uh, minimize the pathogen load in the field. Avoid high organic matter also. You can use the limited required dose of the organic matter in the soil because um, uh, they can contain some uh, scab causing bacteria in the field or in the soil. So, that is why you have to use only limited uh, dose of the uh, organic matter like compost or other things also. Uh, seed cutting uh, practices uh, because the potato is also used by the cutting uh, seeds uh, for sowing purpose if the uh, if you need to cut the seed uh, potato into the smaller pieces before planting you can make uh, clean or uh, uh, cuts uh, and uh, treat the cut uh, surface with the help of uh, uh, fungicide or some bactericide and dust uh, to reduce the risk of infection dear learners post harvest handling is also uh, important uh, for the minimizing the disease severity. After the harvesting, uh, handling of the potato gently to minimize the physical damage that can lead to scab infection. Store the potato in a cool and dry as well as uh, a ventilated place uh, to reduce the likelihood uh, of the secondary infection. Means you have to uh, uh, well uh, use of the well drained and uh, well ventilated uh, and cool and dry place for storage of the um, uh, potato uh, for the seed purpose. Basically, after harvesting, you can also minimize the physical damage uh, to reduce the uh, disease. Uh, in, load. Now, uh, about the potato cyst nematode. Uh, we will discuss about the uh, nematodes uh, which are responsible to cause uh, disease in the um, potato that is called as potato cyst nematode. In short, you can say in PCN. Uh, the distribution of this disease is um, potato cyst nematode including uh, uh, has been, uh, it, this has been reported in various part of the world uh, where potato has been cultivated and uh, however their distribution is not universal in all the potato growing uh, region of the world but it is uh, prevalent for one location to another location and it is uh, generally found in uh, so many area has been reported in numbers of area in the world. Now about the economic importance, dear learners, uh, this disease is economically important because of uh, their uh, damaging things like uh, the Globodera rotokinensis uh, is, and uh, Globodera pallida is responsible for the uh, infection of this disease uh, that is uh, nematode disease and significant economic importance due to the damage they can cause uh, to the potato crops. Dear learners, uh, the uh, infection can lead by the re uh, reduced potato yield, lower quality tubers, increase the production cost also and various economic challenges for the po potato growers and uh, the potato industry also because of the, their uh, reduction in quality, reduction in yield. That is why it is also important uh, to know and understand about the uh, disease. Now about the pathogens and the symptoms, as you know uh, the causal organism uh, for the, this disease is uh, Globodera uh, rotokinensis and Globodera pallida. This is the nematode basically, Globodera is a nematode, means Globodera species is responsible to cause this disease. Potato cyst nematode can cause the stunted growth, means this in symptoms you can see here in the photographs uh, the roots get also uh, in, infected by the cyst nematode, means the formation of the cyst you can see in the lower photographs and in upper photographs the um, whole plants get uh, stunted and whole plants get damaged and the roots basically infection uh, in the roots, uh, if the root get uh, damaged the whole plants get also damaged and the formation of the tubers get also affected. The cyst nematode cause the stunted growth and reduce the yield, root damage and cyst, uh, cyst wilting is also over there for and uh, ultimately a lowing of the potato plants uh, you can see. 
uh, <coughs> at the severe infection it leads to the cyst formation on the root uh, in, you can see here then photograph the formation of the cyst in the roots and uh, it it reduce the tuber quality such as uh, uh, rusting pitting over there uh, and uh, rough surface you can see in the um, uh, skin of the potato and um, uh, this can also reduce the marketability means market value of the uh, this uh, produce is also uh, very uh, reduced uh, by by the infection of the uh, this uh, pathogens and uh, because of that if the tubers is get rough and they, they can damage the corky type of appearance and uh, small size also uh, uh, by the reduction of the uh, quality and uh, you can uh, get the lower price. You can see here in the photographs very uh, clearly the uh, infection of the tubers and uh, as well as the uh, whole club crops get also affected by the uh, infection of the nematodes. You can see here the formation of the cyst also. Now about the disease cycles means uh, the egg, egg and formation of the cyst stage uh, the PCN life cycles means the nematode, nematode how they can produce the eggs and they can, can uh, uh, con contain within the cyst. Basically, the for in the form of cyst, they can uh, con uh, persist in throughout the year. These cyst are often found in the soil basically and each cyst can contain hundreds of or more than the eggs, eggs in there. The eggs are uh, resistant to uh, uh, adverse environmental conditions also hatching uh, under favorable conditions the egg has get hatched and such uh, adequate soil moistures are uh, and suitable temperature the eggs within the cyst hatch into the juveline uh, nematodes and these juveline nematodes are mobile basically and they move can uh, it's a little bit distance and they can uh, cause the infection uh, in the soil basically puncturing the roots and they can uh, uh, cause the infection uh, through the formation of the cyst as well as entering the, the tubers also. Now about the uh, uh, root invasion. One of the juveline nematode, uh, once the juveline nematodes uh, find the suitable host plant, uh, they can penetrate the roots typically near the root tips basically. The, uh, they can enter through the root tip and they are uh, <coughs> style, they have the stylet, uh, stylet basically and through their stylet they can penetrate the root and they can feed the plant cells basically and they can causing the damage the, through, uh, of the root tissue. So ultimately whole plant get stunted and the whole tubers crops get also affected. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Now, development of the uh, reproduction, development and reproduction, the nematodes complete their several molds, uh, means molding are there, means several molds and they can reach the, they are uh, and develop the inside the root tissue basically. Now about the disease management, uh, under this crop rotation is also important uh, for the avoiding or uh, to reaching the disease severity means you have to rotate the crop with the help of non-host crop just like the uh, plant that uh, that is not uh, by, affected by the easily by the PCN and uh, to reduce the nematode population in the soil. If the uh, pathogen uh, can't be find the suitable host, they can uh, they can uh, die with the starvation. Suitable uh, rotation crop, uh, including the grains, legumes, and other non uh, non solanaceous crop, you can grow in that field. And use of resistant potato variety. There are some resistant variety has been uh, observed uh, to grow against the uh, PCN disease. And uh, resistant variety can limit limit the nematode uh, reproduction as well as reduce the severity of the infection. Now about the uh, sanitation, as you know sanitation is uh, also important in this case also means practicing the good sanitation uh, in the field of uh, during the harvesting uh, to prevent the spread of the PCN in, in, uh, infestation. Uh, the soil of the plant material, uh, clean machinery and uh, equip, uh, equipment through, uh, uh, to avoid the uh, contamination means you have to use the proper sanitized uh, uh, equipments to avoid the contamination. Uh, clean seed uh, potatoes. 
use certified as well as disease free seed uh, potatoes for the uh, purpose of seed and you have to ensure the seed uh, potatoes uh, you plant the uh, free from the pcn means you have to identify first of all the um, uh, disease free or pcn free should be there means previous if the previous crop is not affected by the pcn you can uh, take the seed from there or you can take the registered or certified seed over there <coughs> irrigated uh, paste, uh, integrated paste management that is ipm ipm is also very important practices means combination of the all practices to reduce the population of the pcn uh, and that is a potato cyst nematode uh, uh, their severity and combination of the various strategy like cultural practices uh, biological practices chemical practices physical management to avoid the nematode effectively so dear learners this is all about the, um, the major diseases uh, of the uh, crops or, uh, or in the case of potato hope you get some understanding about these things uh, thank you very much for precious learning and understanding thank you